Hi guys. Mkoaji. <laughs> Umeona? Tu okay tu. Tukuje tu. Tu okeleshane. Sasa nimetoka job na nilikuwa nafikiria kama ni kuja tu ni wasalimie sali sali taseni ama mnatakaji <laughs> eh mnatakaji mm mnataka nini moko iko taka nini iko nyinyi taka nini ha iko taka nini mimi iko taka sema hivi Let me think about Miss Jane Mogo. She's a very, very good lady. I like her. I like her work. I like what she does. And I was thinking when I was driving, I remembered I saw the clip yesterday how happy they were after the release of the guy who was, I think, let me say, innocent or. I don't know what to say. Sometimes even like translating direct translation. <laughs> oh, no, no. Direct translation. So Jane Mogo, if you followed her story, she was following up a story uh, of Elijah Kitu. Is it Kitu? Yes, that guy, the driver from Shanzu. And that story made me also cry. Remember when I saw the story, I prayed. Because if you see people an outcry, it means something is amiss somewhere. So, Mr. Gitu was accused of raping a primary school girl and now he was put into prison Shimolatewa. i talked this the other day in my in my um one of my videos when i was driving around going to work and i felt so sad how malicious people can be i always talk about malice because we are full of malice i don't know why somebody would just do that to an innocent man let me set my camera down here so that we see each other nicely that way so now mr gid was accused of raping a primary school girl so and i'm not here to talk about that i'm here to talk about jane mogo and her good deeds and how she struggled working hard tirelessly Eh, kujitolea muhanga kwenda kuokoa huyo chali why I cried yesterday is when I saw the the, the lady the girlfriend the girlfriend and I was like God just like Jane Mugo said some liku mnataka huyu akaoze jela na ate msichana mrembo hivi miaka i'm telling you very young girl and i was thinking about the sad story i said what if is my daughter what if is my son what if is my cousin what if what if I had so many questions kwa tuna maswali mob imagine sasa nikasema uh, watu kuwa malicious si poa mimi kuwa malicious si poa na ile kitu inaniumiza roho ni huyo <laughs> we investigator journalist investigative journalism They're supposed to be factual, you know. 
through the phone, accurate with their information, the information they give to us. Hmm? The information zenye mnatupea, zenye mnatu kusanyia uko, zikwe accurate, up to date, truthful and factual. But hii, kuringana na jen, haikuwa hivyo. Makiu, mi nilisoma, I think I had a, a distinction in mass communication. So I know what I mean. Yes, and I had a second class upper division in the same. And I also studied with journalists. Yeah, and my friend went to investigative journalism. I don't know whether he's doing the same thing, which is very wrong. You are supposed to work according to the code of ethic, code of conduct, journalistic code of conduct. But you did not do that. So, Jin Mugo followed that case day in, day out for several weeks, I think two weeks, hmm? pacing up and down fearlessly. And I wish we can get a, a DP. Eh? Prezo, deputy president who can be a lady at least we see whether we can get a change not her i'm not saying her no i'm not saying jane mogo i'm saying i wish to neither to get president mwanamke woman a woman <laughs> a woman so that we see whether we can get a change because sometimes women are to takangi upuzi. So Jane amefuatilia hiyo story, akaifuatilia kijana venye alitoka shule na basi imejaa watoto na iko na walimu saba, wanawake sita. I think so. No, wanawake tano na wanaume wawili na dere. Ni watu wengi sana. Na kisha anko huyu mtoi akamwekelea maneno ati amerep nini mtoto mfuatilie hiyo story sitaki kuambia ile tu nataka kusema it's like thanking miss miss jane mugo she's a cid she's a criminal investigator very staunch very fierce very hard working na very thorough with her work she is a no nonsense lady sasa Jane Mugo amefuatilia kesi mtoto wa mwenyewe ameachiriwa. Akitukiwa na wase kama hao kadhaa tunaweza kuwa mbali sana lakini hongo. Eh, hongo kitu kidongo. Eh? Na wakati uh, what do you call uh, Eric Wainaina, I was surprised I was um I was uh, helping another client and this client was having her tablet he's he's a guy tablet and he was like listening to inchi ya kitu kidogo ni inchi ya watu wadogo then i asked him do you know uh what the song says he said no and he said oh I just like the lilac. No, I just like the the tune, and because I love Kenyans, I said, "Oh, okay." And now I knew because you are having me. I knew I'll play all the songs in Swahili, even though I don't know Swahili. He only so knows how to say "bariako," "mzuli sana," "jambo mingi," "jambo mingi." So, wakati eri kaliimba hivo inchi ya kitu kidogo ni inchi ya watu wadogo alijua chenye alikuwa na maanisha sasa inasemekana hao mapolisi kutoka kwa ule mkubwa walipewa kitu kidogo huyu journalist investigative journalist alipewa kitu kidogo ndio huyu mtoto wa yenyewe aingie ndani kuna kitu kibaya kama hicho alafu na influence the juniors atana wao waje kwa hiyo boat wakakata heko to those police officers who never agreed to a bet 
in crime. Aki, nini mnafaa tu kupewa H. Inaita nko HSC. Ama ni HCS. <laughs> nini ndiyo mnafaa vitu kama hizo. Umtoto wa yenyewe angeoze anjela kabisa. Angeoze andani. Lakini Jane Mugo alienda kumuokoa. Mukiangalia kwa peji yake, muangalia Jane Mugo. Jane Mugo, the CID officer. Yes, I love that girl. I love that lady with all my heart. Because she, she's doing a great job. Anafanya tu kazi poa. You know? Na anafaitia watu wanyonge. Najua sa izgine mnyonge ana haki. Uyu kijana ispokuwa ni watu na ispokuwa ni kilio cha wengi haki angeozea shimolatewa. Seriously. Angeozea shimolatewa. Jin na grupu yake na watu wengi na mawitness walijitolea mhanga kuenda kumuokoa. Sasa tuseme nini? Eh? Sini tuseme tu jeni mungu wa mbariki. Na tupate ma jeni wengi kama yeye. She's jeni mungu. Muna mjua jeni mungu. Iyo story ni mefuati. Na fuati lianga story zake. Visa zake zote. Zinaumiza. Hata kama anatriteniwa. Unamsikiria tu uruma. Lakini anafanya kazi yake. Lakini huyu journalist. Kwa nini anaharibia kampuni jina? Anajiharibia jina mwenyewe na anaharibia wezake. Juu sasa we cannot trust them. Hatuwezi we can't trust them no more. How credible are they? How credible are their sources of information? Oh, I don't know. Alikuwa na kisanga kama hicho 2019. Oh, I don't know. So if the company knows that, why are you holding that guy in the office? Hmm? He's tainting your image. Na hakuna kitu kibaa kama kuharibu wa image. It is not easy to recover. A damaged image. It is not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is not. It takes time. Kitu kidogo. I am not sure about the kitu kidogo. But that is how they are saying it. Wazi wazi openly. <laughs> and all these journalists, ooh, investigative journalists, if you are not observing, um, hi Betty Hamisha, if you are not observing your code of conduct, your journalistic code of conduct, your universal code of conduct, journalistic code of conduct, you are letting people down because they are reading all over. They are all over. So many people watching online. What are these media houses? They have so many subscribers. You'd imagine all those subscribers watching your fake news, watching your fake source of information because of bribe. And the way I love those investigative um, episodes. You should see me here, seated here, glued to the television, watching 48 hours. Glued to the uh, television, watching evil minds, criminal minds, whatever minds. Because I like, in the investigation, I like to see whether I can deduce something, whether I can make my own story, when I can figure out in the story what if. What could have happened? What if? Lakin Jane Mugo akawakwa huyu mtoto wa wenyewe. I thank God for that. We thank God for that. Kangeozea njela. Kangeozea njela. Nika mtoto mdogo. Ni mtoto mdogo. And that reminds me. Even though she said the same way I say that. Sio polisi wote wabaya. Not all the police officers are bad. But remember, Samaki moja akioza, wanaoza wote. <laughs> Even the Kikuyu saying says, when a group of boys, when you find a 
feces somewhere. You don't want to know who did it or not. It is all the boys in that village. So samaki moja kioza, anawazisha zingine zote. Nayo huyu journalist, huyu namuita mu investigate. Eh 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 eh. Nakwambia mwizi pwabu ushikwa na pwaguzi. Eh. Jinmogo alishika investigator mwezake in different uh, fields. Ha is a true uh, criminal investigator. The other one is a journalist media. You know, just in going around eh, getting information here and there, gathering information here and there without facts, with facts, and bringing together to make a story, to sell to the people, to sell to the newspaper, to make money, evil money. But you forgot, hakuna masika ya sokuwa na mbu. Na muenda tenzi na umu, marejio siningamani. Uka sahau kwa mbu, ukiona muenza kwa kinyolewa, na etia chako maji. Nando hivo ulipatikana. <laughs> eh, hivo ndivo ulivo patikana. Kwa sababu haufanyi kazi. Kwa sababu ni kazi yako. You don't own your own job. No, you are doing it for money. Don't say we work for money. Yes, we do. It's a reward. Each and everyone, when you do something, even when you work, when you do business, you are doing it to get something in return. When you do business, you do it to get some money back. You use money to, to get some money back. I got to work to get a reward in terms of chums. So you never owned your job. You never respected your company. You never respect respected the media house that has employed you so it means you have been feeding the media house you have been feeding the community you have been feeding the nation you have been feeding the entire the entirety with false information you make us now fear the hair the, the the investigation uh, journalists do are they credible? Ile tunajua ni poa ni ya Muhammad Ali na na purity mwambia. Sasa wewe yako ni meanza kuhishuku. Mina sita wai cheki. I don't understand. Why? Who is money? Hana kama chumu hizo jizo ziditoka mwanae wa mungu Yesu Christo why don't you respect your job? It's not easy to get a job nowadays. Watch how people are crying day and night. Who ni taftia job wengine hata karibu wagongwe na magari wakienda tu kulilia mkubwa. My goodness, just hear me out. I'm suffering. I need a job. And you are there. You have a nice job. You're misusing your gadgets. You're misusing your mouth. You're misusing your thinking. You're misusing your education. And now it's shameful to the company, shameful to you. And the officer too, shameful to the officer in charge and uh, the, 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 the company, the police force. It is not good. Sometimes it's good for us to work, to own our jobs. Own it, you know. Own it. Work like it's your own job, not a government office. You're misusing the resources. You're misusing your, you miss, even you misused your rank, your authority to put an innocent man in jail. Oh my goodness. What about that judge? Who is this judge that just decided to wake up and make a decision within a night? That is a case that needed a lot of investigation, a thorough investigation, a very for you know, even children are coached. So it needs a thorough investigation, you know, 
make sure you you talk to that that lady that girl sorry not the lady that girl today ask her what happened because the uncle might have coached her and in fear and trepidation of being reprimanded by the uncle if she does not say what the uncle told her she can say anything oh yeah kare beat me up oh yeah give me raped me they had no evidence they even watched the the girl you know <laughs> and the girl was even dropped by by the 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 the, the caregiver i talked about this in my one of in my one of my videos hmm? it's so pathetic shameful I can say responsibility. You're not responsible. You're, you're showing us a bad image, a bad picture. Showing you're not a role model. But Jane Mugo, thank you for saving this girl. Guy, thank you. I saw him kneel down thanking God when you gave out that Bible and I cried. I saw the girlfriend hug the, the man. They hug. They stay there like, I don't believe it. Yes, even me, I didn't believe it, that he's free. Whether it's pending investigation or whatever, because still under investigation. But we thank Jane Mogo. If we can have several women, fierce women like her, several, just like 10, 10. I didn't see any woman that woke up and started uh, like saying, uh, release that boy is like my son. Only Jane Mogo, and may God bless you. I think I'm done. I am here to just thank that lady, Jane Mogo. Keep up, girl. Keep up the good work. We love you. No, not we. I love you. And I respect what you're doing for us. Because I was putting into um uh consideration what if it was me what if it was me i had one time i got into problem somebody insinuated something and again this the the same policeman yeah uh, uh, ocs officer commanding station they did that to me but luckily i also had sometimes thank god sometimes it's good to be connected they were rich afford like hell knows how. I remember one of them was trying to tell please, 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 please help us. How? <laughs> I'm not in the office. It's their mystic that made them suffer. Sometimes it's good to, to, to do that. Don't joke with these malicious people. They can do anything. And I'm trying to imagine for Ketu, it was the same case. Maliciousness wivu maliciousness wivu kuonewa hata nilikuwa najiuliza did he anko kwani anko ulinyang'anywa huyu mrembo tuliona ama ilikuwa nini nini ilifanya umuonee huyu mtoto wa wenyewe hivyo mpaka anaenda jela shimo lata wana vile ni kunoma bana ai vile tunasikianga ni kunoma sijaenda huko lakini mi venye tulionya tunaonanga stories na tunasikiza stories sini kunoma na mnaingiza mtoto wenyewe as if you you cannot go in sasa wewe usi yes kwa nini usifikirie kama huyu police tulionyeshwa one day one time ati alienda akakuta wenye alifanywa waingie ndani waingie njela ndio wanamkaribisha karibu welcome to Miami because anyway the wind blows it can come back to you. You forgot that you have children. They will suffer the same tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They will. Because God is not a respecter of persons or hierarchy or uh, authority. No. And he's there for the poor. And from me to you, as I say, Jemuro Heko, Thank you for the good work. Bye-bye and peace. Bye-bye. Who is saying hello? Keep limo. 
hi hey, let's see i'll see one boy hi graf graf sasa Catherine keheka hello uh gigi gigi who gigi feed sasa and uh damaris moniki hi you how are you sweetheart uh gisharoa jerry hi dear have a blessed time you too I'm Regina Ngoya. Ui, Ngoya, uliendanga wapi? <laughs> Mini ko Harrison Mwangi. Liz Mutemba. Hi. Betty Hamisha. Sasa mami, poa, poa. Ya mko wengi. And who else? Let me see. Um, ya mko wengi. Maybe. Oh. So from me to you. Bye-bye and God bless. Peace.